Hey, my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new renovation for you. And this renovation is actually a collab that was hosted by my Facebook group, The Sims Streamers and YouTubers. If you have not seen me or heard me talk about this group, I don't know where you've been because I feel like it's all I've been doing lately. I am really proud of the direction that this particular Facebook group is going in. I think it has been super helpful for me and hopefully for our members as well. If you're not sure what this Facebook group is, Basically, it's a support group for Sims streamers and YouTubers. So it is a place where you can go and promote your channel, you can ask for advice, you can ask for feedback, you can ask people if they want to collab with you. We actually also host collabs. So every two weeks, we do either a build collab or a create a Sim collab for the entire group to be able to join. Of course, they're not mandatory or anything like that. If you wanna join the collab, you can join the collab. If you don't want to, you don't have to. We have quite a few people that, you know, kind of pick and choose. We have some people that only do the create a sim collabs. We have some people that only do the build collabs and it's been going pretty well. This is the second build collab that we have done. The first one is also on my channel. I will link it down in the description box below. But basically for the first one, we did a shell collab. So I created a shell and it was all base game because I like to be as inclusive as possible when it comes to these collabs, which has proven to be a little challenging coming up with them, but I've been having a lot of fun doing these. So the first one that we did, I built the shell of a house and then every single person who participated in the collab chose a different room in the house to actually furnish, which turned out really, really cool. The house actually looked pretty good. It came out pretty cohesive. Not that I was surprised because we have some really great and really talented simmers in the group, but it was really fun to do and this one was equally as fun. So this one, the objective here was to renovate the Rindle Rose in Willow Creek. And I chose Rindle Rose because it is a base game house. It's in Willow Creek, so every single person has this particular lot and has this world, so we didn't have to worry about, you know, anybody that wanted to participate that didn't have a particular pack or anything like that. Your renovation for this did have to include the addition of a second floor. So you will notice as you go through the playlist, which will hopefully also be linked in the description box down below, you will notice that every single person that was a part of this collab did end up doing a second floor. The second rule was that you may not demolish any exterior walls, but you can demolish or move interior walls. So you didn't have to stick with the layout that you were originally given in the Rindle Rose build, but you, you know, did have to keep the exterior of the house as far as the walls the same. So the entire downstairs is exactly how Rindle Rose is originally, and then of course the upstairs is all brand new. I did switch up the layout because, you know, obviously having two bedrooms in the way that I had added the second floor. Having the two bedrooms downstairs didn't really make sense. I wanted to make sure that we had a living space, a kitchen, and a dining space, as well as a half bathroom downstairs. I do love putting half baths downstairs. I grew up with a half bath in my house downstairs, so I don't know. I feel like we all kind of play and, you know, kind of go along with things that we know so me growing up in a house that had a half bathroom, I like to add half bathrooms. You were allowed to use any packs that you wanted. And if you use CC, you were allowed to use CC. I don't use CC, so it's not something that you're going to be seeing from me anytime soon. If I do a CC build, it will be, you know, it'll be a special one-off video. <laughs> I don't foresee myself getting into downloading or using CC as like a normal thing. But the people who are in this collab are some really talented people and it was a pretty small group this time around, which is totally fine. Again, like I said, the collabs that we do are absolutely not mandatory. So people can get just kind of pick and choose which ones they want to join. So in this one, aside from myself, we had Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn, who is also an admin for me on the group. We also had Mindy Lee TV. 
we have green screen, and we have Soleil Sims. So these are all people that I've actually already collabed with, with the exception of green screen. I have not done a collab with green screen yet, so green screen, hit me up. Maybe we can do a collab together, just me and you. It'll be super fun. I look forward to it. <laughs> Get in touch with me. You know how to find me. So I really love the way that this house turned out. And when I went into doing this renovation or starting this renovation, I knew exactly what I wanted to do as far as the exterior was concerned. I knew I wanted to take advantage of the fact that the house was kind of an L-shaped house. So I wanted to do that nice little garden in kind of that just extra little tiny bit of yard area. There is no backyard in this house. It's a very small lot. I do believe that the Rindle Rose, it's not a starter home, but it's in its original form, it is one of the less expensive houses. So, you know, having a backyard, I guess it's okay that it doesn't have one. <laughs> it worked out fine. I'm not too concerned with it. There is a park um, right near this house, so I don't think it's, you know, like a huge deal that there is no backyard here. But going into the interior of this house, I really wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go in. Of course, on Monday, I did that big modern minimalistic house, which was really, really fun. But of course, I wanted to go back to using some clutter because I love me some clutter, guys. I really just do. Uh, but I didn't want to go overboard with this house because I do, again, I feel like I can go overboard sometimes with the clutter. Don't we all? Let's be real. There's just so many items in this game that I love using and I always want to use them. So I did kind of limit myself here with clutter as much as possible. And I ended up going in and doing the kitchen first. And I feel like the kitchen in this house was kind of the baseline for as far as how the decor was going to look in the rest of the house. I did try and start off with the living room, which I ended up cutting out. I had to cut out so much. <laughs> so much of this build, even after I sped up the video, there were like five to 10 second pauses everywhere and I'm talking everywhere like if you guys could see the screen on Adobe Premiere Elements right now it's just cut 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 like it's it's absolutely absurd <laughs> the amount of cuts that I had to make in this video and I feel like I've been trying to do this voiceover since this morning it's now 1 28 p.m on Tuesday when I am recording this voiceover and I really want to say this is the 15th time that I have done this voiceover because every single time I've gone in and I've either completely tripped up over my words I don't know why I can't speak today but I've had a really hard time talking <laughs> For some reason but then on top of that every single time I went in I would go in and start the voiceover and then realize as I was talking that there was just a huge pause of nothingness happening on the screen and I'd get really confused and I'd stop the voiceover and go fix it and then I'd forget what I was talking about and I couldn't get everything to line up again properly so I just ended up starting my voiceover from the tip top and you know trying to make sure that I went in and cut out as many of the pauses as possible there may still be you know one or two here or there but I tried my best guys I was getting really sick of this I think it's been like five hours since I started editing this video and I'm done with it <laughs> don't I don't want to edit this video any more than I have to uh, but I did do end up doing the kitchen first because like I said I tried to go into the living room and work on the living room first and I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to furnish this place. I knew I wanted to go more on the suburban end because of course it is a more suburban -y looking house. So that just made sense to me. But I didn't know if I wanted to go like kind of like older style suburban or if I wanted to go contemporary suburban. And I was having a little bit of trouble kind of finding some ideas for this build and then I went into the kitchen and I was like okay I want to go with something that looks maybe a little bit outdated but there are a few different elements in the house that look like they could be brand new for instance that front door 
While it is a more older style looking door, it does look new in comparison to kind of the rest of the house. And then going into the kitchen, the stove looks relatively new, the fridge looks relatively new. So I wanted to have, you know, just a few little things here and there that look like, okay, this was updated, but maybe this wasn't. So, you know, that's kind of the direction that I went in and I think that it turned out pretty cute. I used this couch set that I, I want to say that I rarely use it, but I feel like I use it more than I think I do. It has a lot of great color swatches on it, and it really kind of fits for a few different styles of build, but what I really liked about it was the wood tones that are on the back and the side of that particular set. I think it looks really cool. And then going into the dining room, I ended up using the chairs that I used in the kitchen. I thought that kind of made it a little bit more cohesive, kind of tied everything together in a really nice way. And then did kind of a little entryway over here. So there is, of course, the entryway into the living room, the front door, but then there's the slider door that comes right into the dining room. And I feel like that is more likely to be the entrance that if I lived in this house, that's probably the entryway that I would use more often than not. I also have a front door to my house, obviously, but I have a side door that comes in on my kitchen and we use the side door exclusively. Like I very, very rarely actually use the front door to my house. And I feel like that's how it was when I was growing up as well. My parents have, of course, a front door and then they have a side door. We always use the side door. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you are a front door person or if you're a side door person or even a back door person, I don't know. Maybe you walk around the back of your house and go inside the, your house through the back, I'm not sure. But going upstairs, I did end up putting up two bedrooms up here. So there is a master bedroom that has a bathroom attached to it. And then there is a second bedroom which has two beds in it. I don't think that there's two children here. I think that there's one child here and they just happen to have an extra bed in their room, whether it be for their friends sleeping over or if they have you know, family members coming to stay with them or anything like that. It's just a nice little kind of extra bed and it took up some space in this room, which was pretty large as far as a kid's room is concerned, especially for the size of this house in general. The house itself is not very large. But I think this turned out really cute. So I ended up using one of the beds, the one that has the canopy, as kind of like the main bed. So I figure if there is a child living in this room, they probably sleep in the canopy bed. And then the other bed that does not have the canopy is just kind of the extra guest bed. And I don't know, I thought that was a really cool idea. I wish that I had this as a kid because when my friends slept over, we used to all just sleep on the floor. Whereas if I had a second twin bed in my room, one of them could just, like they could just sleep in the twin bed. <laughs> it would have been way easier than sleeping on the floor. Not way easier, but way more comfortable than sleeping on the floor. Uh, but I really liked this idea and I liked the way that this room turned out. It's not super cluttered. You can see me kind of thinking about clutter, but I end up not using too, too much of it. I didn't want this house to look like a hoarder house. I didn't want it to look too overly cluttered, but I did want it to look homey and cozy and like people actually live here because there are some houses and I'm saying this as you know somebody who builds these type of houses there are some houses that you know you walk into them and you're like um am I allowed to touch anything in here <laughs> like can I put my feet up on the coffee table or like can I walk around with shoes on like there are some houses that just kind of feel very sterile and very clean and not clean in like a, you know, like a you have a clean house kind of way, but like clean in like a, this is a hospital and not a house. So I did not want the house to feel like that. I wanted the house to feel really comfy and really cozy and just kind of lived in and, you know, like actual people would live here. So that's what I went with. This hallway upstairs is pretty boring, not gonna lie. I did just add the little table over on the back end and just that little painting. It's nothing special. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then going into the master bedroom here, I did end up using the other bed from Seasons. Not my favorite bed, the other bed. And can we talk about this for a second, guys? The swatches for this bed are so bad. They're just... They're so bad. The white one is fine. This blue one's like, 
towing the line. It's really towing the line here. I'm not, I don't know. The, I'm sick of the swatches for the beds that we have. Some of them are really terrible. <laughs> Some of them are really hard to work with. They're just, they're way too busy. They're, I need more just straight up neutral kind of things. Like, I don't want like a bright neon yellow. I want like a mustard yellow. That's what my bed color is. That's what my bed spread is. I love it. I have a mustard yellow bed with like gray walls and everything's gray and yellow and I love it and it's perfect. But like some of the colors that we have in The Sims are just like way too over the top for me and they're very hard to work with as far as trying to get them to match to other things. So I don't know, I want some new beds. I know we have a ton of them. I know that there's other things that we need before we need new beds, but I want new beds. <laughs> I want new beds and I want new cabinets really, really badly. I'm sure that we will get some in the stuff pack, expansion pack, and game pack that are coming up over the next few months, but I want them now. I'm sorry, I'm just being picky today. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate every single one of you that stick around on my videos. Again, if you want to join the Sims streamers and YouTubers Facebook group, the link will be in the description box down below, so you can definitely go do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you're new here or you're not new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. And don't for forget to go check out everybody else's renovations. I'm sure they did a wonderful job and I'm very much looking forward to seeing them myself. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.